Hi everyone, my name is Dylan, and today I'd like to show you how many options you have when it comes to fonts in GoDaddy Studio. I'll show you where to find them, how to use them, and offer a few tips on how to make the most of all your typographic options. So let's start by jumping onto a blank canvas, and I'm just gonna add some text for now. I'll say, I love fonts, because I do. And you'll see right away, you can begin scrolling through some different options right here in the text editor. But when you tap the check icon in the top right hand corner and add that text to your canvas, you'll see right away that your font tray pops up. And this is already populated with some options of some of the more popular favorites that we have in GoDaddy Studio. So there are some fantastic options to get you started right away. But of course, there are more than 600 fonts available on a pro subscription with GoDaddy Studio. So if you'd like to start exploring all of these, uh, you can begin scrolling left on the font tray. And as you do so, you'll, no you'll notice this uh, little upward arrow pops up on the left hand side. So simply tap on that. It'll take you into our fonts library. And here you can begin exploring. Now, We've got, as I mentioned, 600 plus different fonts, but they are all categorized into different collections and they're arranged by graphic style and occasion. So for example, we've got things like Valentine's, Christmas, Halloween, uh, but then also some more stylistic options like Art Deco, Brutalism, Fashion, Grunge, and so on. Now, each of these uh, collections will have a minimum of a dozen, usually more uh, fonts within them. So you can simply tap on the collection that you'd like to explore and uh, then start to narrow things down until you find the perfect font for you. You would simply tap on the option and uh, automatically you will see your text presented in that new font. And this font has now been added to your font tray right at the beginning. Now, if we return to the font library, you'll also notice that there are a couple of other tabs here at the top. Let's start with downloaded. And this is obviously a reference of all the fonts that you have already downloaded into your own collection. And pay attention to the edit tab at the top right hand corner. If you tap edit there, you can now start customizing your font collection by either removing some of the options that you perhaps aren't using that often or rearranging them to make the ones that you are using, uh, perhaps put them right at the front so that they are easier to access. So it's very easy to start customizing this collection and in so doing, you begin to create a really personalized collection of fonts for you and your brand. In the same section, you'll notice that we also have this new tab and that's where you can start to explore some of the more recent additions to our font library. Uh, we're adding new fonts to our app all the time. Our curation team is always keeping their eye out for uh, new trends when it comes to typography. So if you are looking for the most recent, most on-trend fonts available, then uh, this is definitely where you would want to start exploring. And then beside that, you'll notice there's also a tab for uploaded. Now, if you have your own custom font or a font that your brand uses all the time, and it's not in our library, but you have the file on your device, you would simply tap add fonts and you can add that font file to your collection and it'll appear alongside all the others. Now I've been using the word fonts a lot for obvious reasons, but technically all of these options that I've been showing you are different typefaces. And the reason that's worth knowing is because many of these typefaces will have multiple variations within them and these are what we actually call the fonts. So you'll see that in the Quincy typeface family, there are some different options with different weightings. Some are bold, some are italic and so on. And uh, all of these are different font options within the Quincy typeface family. So that's probably something uh, worth knowing. In the same vein, some of the typeface options that we have have variations that include an outline option too. And that can be quite useful to create a three-dimensional effect. So in this example with Horizon, for example, what I will do here is just duplicate this layer. So we now have a second layer of text. And this option, um, I'm going to just edit that and use the outline version. And now if I just slightly misalign that with the solid version, you can see it creates this really cool three-dimensional depth effect. 
All right, now very often it's a good idea to think about combining two or three different fonts in your design. It tends to add a bit more visual interest to what you're creating. And this process we call font pairing. Now there are a few guidelines to this, uh, not too many hard and fast rules. It's really just about finding two fonts that work in harmony together and uh, frequently using these in tandem in your designs as you start to develop a particular identity for your brand. To make the process of font pairing much easier, you might want to consider using duo fonts. Now we have a wide selection of these. You can find them by searching for duo in the font library. And what these are are typefaces that come with two very different types of fonts, um, but they are designed to work together to complement each other. So uh, finding these definitely makes the process of font pairing much, much easier and quicker. So just a couple of examples that I have for you right here. Uh, this one is a font or a typeface, I should say, called Halen. And we have another example in uh, Gunsan over here. This one, I believe, is called Shockwave. And uh, finally, Serrano. So those are all some really fantastic duo fonts that I would uh, definitely recommend checking out. Now, obviously your fonts can appear in any conceivable color and the combination of font pairing with finding the right color palette can really elevate your design. So I'm just going to use the themes tool just to give you a sense of how your brand's unique font selection can really work in harmony with your brand's unique color palette. And then finally, once you have found the perfect font for your design, bear in mind that your text can be further edited you can make uh, multiple adjustments that will customize your text even further. Simply tap on edit and navigate to the style tab right at the bottom menu tray. And here you'll be able to do things like change the alignment of your text, whether that's right, left or center. You can also modify the spacing either between the letters um, or between the lines too. Um, you can change the capitalization very easily by just tapping through these options. And uh, you can even adjust the curvature very simply. And that's quite useful for logo designs, but also just adds a, a sense of playfulness to your design. At the end of the day, fonts play a major part in your brand's identity. And all these uh, small nuances that you're creating definitely go a long way in helping to define that identity. You can download the GoDaddy Studio app right now for free and start exploring all the incredible font options that we have for you. All the links you need are in the description below. Please subscribe to this channel to keep learning about GoDaddy Studio. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.